Organizing Photos and Memories. It's that time of year again when I open up the trunk of memory albums to reminisce and add updates from the previous 365 days. The girls love going through their books page by page and taking a walk down memory lane. I also take this time to organize the items that I have collected in this drawer all year. I start by separating keepsakes into stacks and placing each group into a clear storage bag to keep them together until they are put into their permanent display format. I spread out my albums and organize them into categories according to an overall storage strategy. Each family member has a set of memory archives which includes the following five items. Number one, a portrait album. Large professional portraits are placed here. Number two, informal snapshot albums. I think these books are my kids' favorites. Number three, a journal written by me to each of my girls. I started writing letters to them soon after their birth. Number four, school memories albums. These albums include school projects, report cards, journals, lost teeth, etc. Behavior reports to show my grandchildren in the future when they get into trouble. Cute notes and lists. I provide nice scrapbooks for my children to use for their school projects and then keep them with their memory albums after they are graded and returned. Janae's Leaf Book, October 2011, Miss Mandy McKibben's fourth grade class, New Life School. Everything has a date. A picture from that year puts the project into time perspective. Number five, keepsake clothes are kept in sealed, clear plastic envelopes with labels. Expandable plastic zipped envelopes. Outfit crocheted for Robbie by Grandma Chambers. Newborn outfit from Grandma Crawford that Janae wore home from the hospital. Newborn outfit from Vanessa Horn and Tabitha Easley that Gia wore home from the hospital and in pit. Gia's preschool graduation gown. Jesse's high school graduation gown and sash. Large sets of cards for an event can be grouped and kept in a smaller packet. Poly zipper envelopes. School performances and other audio records can be kept in these special sized binder pages. Three hole punched clear plastic envelopes can hold other special artifacts like medals, cards, glasses, ribbons, jewelry, etc. When my girls get married or become established independently, we will keep digital copies of their photos. Their original photos and keepsakes will be gifted to each of them to enjoy and pass down to their own families. Historical Keepsake Albums Interviews with grandparents are documented with corresponding photos. Important original photos and documents are affixed to quality scrapbooks with acid-free products. The historical albums are placed in a fireproof chest. Large three-ring binders hold the family mementos and keepsakes. 
cards, documents, artifacts, event programs, newspaper clippings, publications, hair samples. Old business cards are kept in vinyl flip books. These are useful for documenting former employment residences and vendors used. Albums for special trips and assignments. Albums for places lived. Albums for colleges attended. Albums for places of employment. Albums for specific time periods. Family and friends albums. Great for keeping photo Christmas cards and special pictures over the years. Sets of cards and keepsakes separated and labeled. Student keepsakes from Calvary Christian School in Indianapolis. Three ring binders are economical temporary alternatives to scrapbooks. All spines are labeled Non-current albums are kept in storage tubs and accessible when needed. Current albums are kept in a large trunk. The photo storage is used as a coffee table in the family room, but opens for quick and easy access. My Teenage Scrapbook. I've always been an avid archivist, even at 13 years old. This page includes tags from my 1983 Easter dress, a cutout swatch from the bag my hat was placed in when we bought it, shells from Easter eggs in my basket. I kept the ignition key from my sister's car after it was totaled in a wreck, a packet of her hair shaved when they had to stitch up her scalp, a flyer from the chapel where I went to pray for my big sister. This is a copy of my first published short story with an encouraging note from Georgia Smeltzer. Digital Documentation If life events are documented through Facebook, posts and pictures can be printed each year and made into family yearbooks or kept sorted in files by person or topics. Professional memory books can be expensive. An economical solution is to print out self-designed pages and place them in a binder using page protectors. Events are placed in chronological order and date stamped. Facebook posts are ways of journaling to tell the story about the events in the pictures. A digital copy and a hard copy are kept of all pictures and posts. Organizing and displaying your memories brings so much joy to your loved ones. It is worth the effort. <laughs>